Am I the asshole for catfishing my underaged sister on Tinder and humiliating her in order to teach her a lesson? Last week, I was using my sister Ashley's phone because mine was dead and I needed to call a friend to confirm plans. I'm dialing my friend's number. I saw a Tinder notification of some dude messaging her. Immediately, I asked her why she's on Tinder. She's 17. And she grabbed her phone back and said, none of your business. I decided that I wanted to have a little fun with this. I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she's just swiping for fun. So I didn't want to go straight to ratting her out to our parents. To test if she was just using it for fun, I decided I was going to make a Tinder profile of someone else and message her and see if she responds. I asked a good friend from back in college who happens to be a male model, Kevin, if he'd mind if I'd use his pictures and explain the situation. He thought it would be hilarious and told me to go for it. I created the account, set my age to 22, set my swipe radius to a mile, and quickly found my sister's account. Her age was set to 19. Lie, she is still in high school. So I was definitely more suspicious of her now. I super liked and less than an hour later, she matched and messaged me. I decided to set up a date to a fancy restaurant downtown for Sunday afternoon and told her we could quote unquote head to my place afterwards. She was completely receptive and said she'd meet me there. She told our parents she was hanging out with one of her track friends and spending the night at her place. After she left, I told our parents everything and showed them all the messages. They were pissed and I suggested we all go to the restaurant. My dad and I just went instead and saw her sitting at a table alone, all dolled up, waiting for Jim. My dad went up to her and said, Jim's not coming. And she screamed and asked what we were doing there. I told her that there was no Jim and that it was effing stupid of her to be trying to meet grown men on Tinder at her age. My dad harped on to that and lectured her on lying and meeting strange men on the internet and being so willing to go back to a stranger's place. We were a bit loud, so people were starting to look at us, and my sister eventually bursted into tears and ran out. I told my friends in a group chat the situation, and they all agreed it was hysterical, except two of my female friends who said I was a effing dick and cruel to her. My other friends defended me and said she needed to be taught a lesson. I'm wondering who's right, or did I go too far? So, am I the asshole? Reddit confessions. Disclaimer, this is not my story. I am reading it off of Reddit, thanks. I killed an elderly man in front of his wife and basically his entire family. One night when I was in college, I was driving to get some liquor for a party my fraternity was supposed to throw the following night. I was taking a street I was very familiar with to get back to my house. It was dark, but the street was lit with street lamps. I remember that I looked at my radio for a second, just a second, not very long at all. But when I looked back up to the road, there was a man crossing. I didn't have any time to react. By the time I saw him, he had already hit the good of my car and bounced off the side. I remember screaming and hitting the brakes and the wash of horror of what had just happened. I'll admit, I had thought about speeding away, but I pulled over to the side and ran out of my car to check on this guy. When I got to him, his family was standing outside the restaurant he was leaving, and they were all screaming and crying. He was laying on the side of the road with blood coming out of his nose and mouth. Two other men were standing with him, trying to see if he was all right and calling 911. All I could say was, I didn't see him. I was frantic by the time it had set in what I had done. I sat on the curb across from the family and listened to their crying in agony while we waited for the paramedics to arrive. I sat there and sobbed while the paramedics took him away in the ambulance. I don't believe I've ever cried so hard and for so long. The worst part about all of it and still what kills me today was that his wife came over to me while I was distraught on that curb, sat next to me, placed her hand on my shoulder and said, I was married to him for almost 50 years.
we had a good life. Then she hugged me and she said that she forgave me. After everything was said and done, it was ruled that it was an accident. I wasn't charged with anything, and I had one of my friends pick me up from the police station. I went down a dark path the years after that. I drank heavily, dropped out of college in my senior year, had to move back in with my parents because I couldn't hold on a job, even tried to kill myself with pills. It was a hard road to recovery, but eventually I got my life back in order joined up with the Navy and saw a bit of the world, and now I'm on track to go back to college and hopefully finish what I started there. It took almost a decade, but I finally start to feel almost whole again. I'm back to hanging with my friends and actually going out. So maybe there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Am I the asshole if I stop paying my daughter's tuition over a disgusting comment she made towards my new girlfriend? My 56 male wife died at the young age of 51 from a car accident. I was in deep mourning for about a year after her death. I met my new girlfriend, C, 43 female, around January. C was the one who made me laugh for the first time after my wife died. She's smart as hell. Three Ivy League degrees has a dark sense of humor that I love, a terrific cook, and overall an amazing woman who I can't imagine spending the rest of my life with. She is also on the heavier side, a fact that becomes relevant later. I have two children, E, 25 male, and A, 19 female. They were well aware that I had gotten a new girlfriend before I introduced them to C this summer. She got along immediately with E, but A was very standoffish. After that initial meeting, I asked A if there was something wrong, but she denied it. C made a few more attempts to get to know A, but they were all rudely rejected. E and A both came home for Thanksgiving dinner. I asked A to please be polite during the meal since she's always been rude in her interactions with C even though C has been nothing but gracious in return. The dinner was going as well as it could have for the first 10 minutes, although I noticed A glaring at C the entire time. When C went to grab her third helping of mashed potatoes, A said, quote unquote, don't you think you've eaten enough, you fat pig? C started sobbing immediately and ran off into the bedroom. I felt my face turn red and told A to get out. About half an hour after A left, I texted her stating that I would no longer pay her tuition unless one, she apologized to C and two, C accepts her apology. A must have assumed that I was bluffing because she's instead doubled down on her behavior during Thanksgiving dinner. I then logged into her university's tuition payment website, canceled next semester's tuition, and sent A the screenshots. She's called me crying and begging me to reconsider, but I told her my mind was made up. So... Am I the asshole if I stop paying my daughter's tuition over a disgusting comment she made towards my new girlfriend?